Hey, it's Clint, Motorcycle Monkey. Today, it's about two things. One, I'm gonna review the new Indian FTR 1200S. We're also gonna support the chapter 15 of the Booze Fighters MC, their 15th anniversary of that particular chapter. We're gonna head up to the Elks Lodge in Oceanside. So I'll put a few miles on this baby and we'll support that charity. First off, I wanna thank Indian Motorcycles of San Diego for letting me check this bike out and give it a review. It's a six-speed transmission. It's fuel injected with 123 horsepower, 87 foot-pounds of torque, dry weight is 489 pounds, and the fuel capacity in the tank is 3.4 gallons. One of the things I notice as we head up to the Elks Lodge in Oceanside is this FTR, the shifter is very, very close to the foot peg. And I realize that's how these bikes are made. So my boots are not the right boots for this bike. They're a little thick. But I've ridden it already a previous day for some miles, so I am getting used to it. That would not be a deterrent for me. As we head up the 15 freeway here, I am noticing that you do get some vibration from this bike when you get above 70 miles an hour. A couple things I'm noticing as we've ridden further up the 15 freeway, we're about to get off on the 78 here in a minute. Being this close to the wall here, the divider in the freeway, this bike is very nimble, which is one of the reasons I love it. I mean, you move just a little and this bike will respond, and that's a good thing. But when you're near to a wall like this, whew, you gotta be careful, be on your game. You cannot look away or get distracted. I feel like I'd go right into the wall, but by the same token, if you need to correct, I feel like you could do that quickly as well. So just want you to be aware of that. I wouldn't say it's a traveling bike. I knew that going in. You probably did too. It's not what this bike's about. It's a lot of fun though. I love the upright position. I like the grips. And speaking to that vibration over 70 miles an hour, we've been doing about 78 to 82 miles per hour for the last few miles. There is a bit of vibration mostly coming through the handlebars, the grips. It really doesn't bother me. We're getting off on the 78 West. We're gonna stop on Nordal Road to pick up Brenda Cope, a friend of ours who wanted to cruise with us, so we're gonna stop off at Cycle Gear here. There you All right, go. They're making fun of me, little, little, my buddy Mike says, because this bike is small for me. It's it's an awesome bike, Mike. Can you, <laughs> hey, can you hook your leg over it? It no. sits awfully tall. No. So it's not for old folks. It's no. not for old folks. <laughs> this man is for old folks. This is a nice bike, another Indian, I gotta tell you. That's a real nice one. That's a real I am digging the bike, though. Amazing sweep. An amazing sweep. I feel so safe with him back That's there. awesome. So Mike sweeps your floors. He's really good. Oh, you mean riding. Right? Yes. What do they call it, man? What, what, what? What's the name? What's the name of the bike? That is an FTR 1200S. It's an Indian. It's a 2019. We are here, though. The reason we stopped at Cycle Gear, it's right over there in the corner, was to pick up Brenda. Oh, that's Sue. Where's Brenda? Oh, I passed her right up. She's in her helmet. This is who we're picking up today. Trust me. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. I'm all squishy. All right, we ready to go? We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Oh. I'm also noticing this throttle is extremely responsive. There's almost no give at all, which I like. When you pull your hand off the throttle or throttle it down, it is it is going to slow you down quickly. And when you jerk the throttle, man, it doesn't take much. You will move. As I said, lots of torque in this bike. I do like how responsive and how nimble it is a lot. Really glad to get off the 78, not one of my favorite freeways. Of course, the 5 is congested at this point, that's nice. When is it not? As we get off on Mission Avenue here from the 5 to head east, I notice that the bike doesn't get hot. It's got a great heat management system. And in slower traffic like that, you don't have to worry about your engine overheating. That's a huge plus. So we made a left on Maxon. Now a right on Country Club Lane, and it should be right down the street here. Ah, I see it right there. Oceanside Elks, number 1561. So we've got Andrew here. You want to get on this thing and feel it? Absolutely. How tall are you first for people for perception? 5'8 on a good hair day. I'm 5'10 on a good hair day. Right, I'm going to so see if you notice what I notice. Let's see. Oh, it lowers itself as soon as I get on the bike. Right, which is awesome. Awesome. But you sit if you upright. you do, yeah, take it off the kickstand and see if you if you're on your toes like me. Oh heck yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yep. So that's, that's tall. Me. 
Yeah, definitely. That's me with a boot on. But I gotta tell you, I ride it anyway. It reminds me of a crowd rocket. It. Right on. So you like the way it feels? I do, I do. It'd be a good little bar hopper for me, you know? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking commuter myself. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. And it definitely has that urban feel to it. Like, you can hit the puddles, you'll be all right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's got you know plenty I mean? of suspension. Yeah, totally. I felt, as soon as I sat on it, it dropped like maybe an inch or two into the suspension. It made me feel really comfortable. I love the sight gauges for the oil. That's awesome. No guessing. Walk up to it, it's there. And even the coloration. No one's time to change. It even has cooling fans for the radiator when you're sitting in traffic. Hi, I'm Rev, uh, Chapter 15, Blue Spiders president, and we have an awesome raffle with prizes. We have a full-size bike lift, we have big screen TVs, we've got tools, we've got booze, we've got it all. Um, today we're raising money for the SKL Youth Baseball Morgan Division, which is a special uh, needs division for kiddos aged from three. And there's kids out there even up to 25. Uh, we're going to take our money that we're raising today and buy them all new baseball equipment uh, for that division and uh, having a great turnout. I want to thank everybody for coming, and uh, if you don't make it this time, come to our next stop. In addition to the great raffle prizes they had, the Booze Fighters also had some really good food, so we grubbed and headed out. Oh look, here's a surprise. The 5 South is completely backed up. That never happens. I right, do about 65, 66 miles per hour. Just want to have a little fun here. I got a clear lane. I want to be safe. I'm going to goose it and see what happens. Oh yeah, she's got some pickup. Oh look, another surprise. The 78's backed up. So we hung a right on Broadway. We're making a left on 78 East to continue. It's not a freeway anymore. We got Brenda and Sue. Hello. Hey. So we just passed Bear Valley Parkway, and this is where the route gets fun to me. The reason it's worth taking this way instead of the 15 to the 5 South at this point. This is the part of the route where I understood what this bike is all about. The turns, the handling. Oh yeah, I'm hooked on this baby now. These windy roads are awesome on this bike. With all the torque, the pickup, oh yeah. Now I get it. Woo! So we're coming through the tail end of Ramona, 67 South. About 150 to 200 miles on this bike so far. So if you're gonna do more than 100 miles on a regular basis, I don't know if this is the bike for you. I will say this though. You want a fun bike, a commuter, the twisties, the turns, lots of torque. Plenty of pickup. Oh man, this bike is fun. I recommend. So I contemplated an Escondido and Ramona as to whether or not I should get gas. And I'm only about seven or eight miles from my house, maybe 10, somewhere around there. And I'm seeing a low fuel gauge. I knew this could happen, but of course, I'm not as smart as I'd like to be. We're gonna see if I make it home. Some people swim with sharks, others skydive naked. I pass four to five gas stations when I'm low on fuel. That's how I live on the edge. But I made it, and I like this bike a lot. As I head back to Indian Motorcycles of San Diego for the sad part of my journey, which is to return this beautiful bike, I want you to know it's got three different ride modes, sport, standard, and rain, with unique throttle response and traction control so you can customize the bike to your personal riding preference. All right, so we've got the onboard computer or the console, whatever you want to call it here you got your time here it's 81 degrees right now there's your compass I'm in neutral that's how many miles are on the bike how many miles on the tank left until it's empty so 131 on this your rpms and if I press this button right here see this it'll take you from where you were to here just a different readout you still have the rpms and all that you got your engine heat and right here this is your USB port there's already one in there a really small USB you can play music just audio files, all that. And of course you got your phone holder here if you want to add this to it. This boot right here, if you focus in on this, is too thick. It's what I ride in on my bagger, on my Harley. But for this bike, this is what I was talking about with the shifter being very close to the peg. When you try to get underneath like this, it makes it difficult, A, because there's a ton of grip on the bottom of this boot as you can see on a grip and if you look here look at this peg here if you focus in on that that's got its own teeth on it so again but I'm going to show you the proper boot so this is the right boot okay this is the boot that you want they even have right here and you can replace these your guard so you don't scratch it up from the shifter 
So you'll place this in. You'll notice the difference between this and my boot. See that? It's nice and smooth because the teeth here like I showed you. So, and it goes much easier under there. If you notice the difference in thickness too, look at that. It's different, right? Because again, you're looking at this as opposed to this. And if you don't like that, well, okay, and you don't mind a scratched up shoe or boot, you can do that. Now, here's the other thing. It's protected in the back, it's protected in the front and the top, and even the sides. It, uh, it's flexible, but it won't flex this way. So you're still protected super solid right here on the base of your foot. Hey man, what'd you think? You know I loved it, man. It's a lot of fun in the turns. You feel every bit of the road, that's for sure. Oh yeah. And if I'm right, that's designed after the flat track racers, right? That's correct. But it sits so high. Is that the way they were? They Yes, definitely. And are. And are, yes. All right, well, I love it. It's a fun bike, man. Right on, man. I'm glad you had fun. A huge thanks to Indian Motorcycles of San Diego. Tell them Clint sent you for Motorcycle Monkey if you do want to check out the FTR 1200S or any of the models. And please subscribe to Motorcycle Monkey channel on YouTube and click the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Ride safely. I'll see you on the next one.